Hey guys, Alex here from SketchUp School. Today, we're going to talk about how SketchUp works for woodworkers. Over the years, we've answered questions from thousands of woodworkers like you who are trying to figure out not only if SketchUp's a good tool for what they need, but also if it's worth the investment of time, effort, and money to learn and use. So to help you decide if SketchUp is right for you, I'm going to share my answers to the five biggest questions we always hear. Let's jump right into number one, is SketchUp a good tool for the types of projects I work on? SketchUp is a fantastic planning tool for woodworkers. It can save you time, materials, and money by letting you test your designs before you even make your first cut on projects of all shapes and sizes. The first thing you'll notice when you're learning the fundamentals of SketchUp is that you can work with it similar to how you work with wood in your shop. For example, using SketchUp's basic drawing tools, you can create your pieces of wood, then take measurements and make marks, and then cut, drill, or carve each piece. From there, SketchUp is also great for figuring out how everything fits together. Using the same basic tools, you can preview and plan all of the joinery right down to the half-blind, dovetailed joints. Now we're only scratching the surface of why woodworkers love SketchUp. But before we show you some of the biggest reasons, let's take a moment to answer the next question you might be asking. Number two, is SketchUp necessary or can I keep doing things the way I already do? Chances are you've been hand sketching your design ideas and you've got a process that works pretty well for you. So while it's great to see that you could draw your projects using SketchUp, if your current way of doing things is working, why change it? It's true, the more simple the project is, SketchUp may not offer you much more than you can get out of sketching with a pencil and paper. But what if you need to change the design? Even for a simple project, you might need to start over with a new sketch. SketchUp was made for design changes, so you can more easily iterate through changes without having to start from scratch. As you move on to more complicated projects, that's where SketchUp really starts to offer a number of advantages over hand sketching. First, you can draw things faster and repeating elements can be quickly copied around your model. Second, you don't have to draw different views. Since you're creating a 3D model in SketchUp, it's a snap to change your view to get different perspectives, details, and even plans, elevations, and sections. Third, because you're inputting exact dimensions as you draw, SketchUp can be dead accurate when it comes to measurements. Like the old adage, measure twice, cut once, You'll know the measurements in SketchUp are spot on when you're cutting things to a line, or even when you're calculating your raw materials. And lastly, there are tools that help you plan and draw details that would not only be tough, but maybe even impossible to hand sketch. All right, I know we're covering a lot in this video. So before we get too far, I wanted to mention that I've gone ahead and put together some notes that will make it easy for you to review everything we're going over. I've added a link to download them in the cards. Next, let's take a look at another question we hear all the time. Number three, is it hard to learn? And do I need a background in using CAD or 3D design software? SketchUp is designed to be easier and more intuitive than other CAD or 3D design software out there. And this shows in the fact that there are tens of millions of SketchUp users around the globe, a majority of them having little to no experience using other CAD or 3D software before learning SketchUp. But I should warn you, while it's true that SketchUp is relatively easy to use compared to other CAD and 3D software out there, it's not as easy to learn as some would have you believe. In fact, one of the biggest reasons people get frustrated and give up on SketchUp is that they were led to believe that SketchUp was so easy to learn that it could be done in just a few minutes. Like any valuable skill worth having, learning SketchUp doesn't work that way. Our brains don't learn that way. Instead, you should plan on taking the time to learn the fundamentals of SketchUp without the pressure of trying to use it right away on a real project. A good place to start is with our Getting Started with SketchUp video. Then, once you've spent some time learning the fundamentals, try to use SketchUp on a super simple project. This will show you what you understand well and what you need to go back and learn. And repeat these steps. Learn new fundamentals that look useful, then practice what you learned on simple projects. And again and again each time trying more complex projects until you feel pretty comfortable that you can build the types of projects you work on in the real world in SketchUp. Just don't make the mistake I see so many self-taught SketchUp users make and simply follow a tutorial for how to build an entire woodworking project. This gives you the false sense that you've learned SketchUp when really you've just learned how to follow instructions to create one type of thing. More often than not, the steps you follow in these tutorials won't translate directly into the projects you're working on and you'll end up frustrated and may even get completely stuck trying to model something on your own. So take the time to be slow, experiment, and really understand the different tools in SketchUp when you're first setting out to learn. It'll actually be faster and avoid more headaches in the long run, and you'll have a much more solid foundation of SketchUp skills. Your future self will definitely thank you. Thanks, man. All right, all this talk about how hard SketchUp is to learn, you're probably also wondering, 
Number four, how long does SketchUp take to learn? Of course, this varies greatly from person to person, but here's some guidance for the fastest way to learn SketchUp. First, you should plan to learn and practice SketchUp daily, or as close to daily as possible. This follows one of the key points of Make It Stick, the science of successful learning, that spacing out shorter practice sessions, such as 10 minutes daily, will help your brain pick it up faster than one massive practice, like a single day 70 minute cram session. Second, you should divide your daily session into two parts. First, learn a new tool, concept, or technique. You can either watch or read about it, or follow along with a tutorial that walks you through it. But don't stop there. The second and far more critical part, challenge yourself to practice that new thing you learned on your own without referring to the material or using the same example. Make sure the challenge is simple enough that you don't get stuck in topics you haven't covered yet, but just hard enough that it really does challenge you. This will help you break through the illusion of understanding, where you mistake being able to follow a tutorial with actually knowing how to use the same skills on a unique project. If you follow these two pieces of advice, depending on your learning style and computer savviness, and assuming you're learning from a trusted source, you can expect to feel confident in using SketchUp for your more straightforward woodworking projects somewhere in the range of three to six weeks. Of course, mastering SketchUp for more complicated projects would take additional time. But if you get through that first period of intensive learning and practice, you'll be hooked and the learning that comes after will feel more like fun and play than anything else. <laughs> all right, there's one more question we hear all the time. and It is probably the biggest one. Number five, can I get by using SketchUp Free or is it worth upgrading to SketchUp Go or SketchUp Pro? Trying to compare all the different versions of SketchUp from their website is downright confusing. And since most of their marketing is geared towards architects, interior designers, and builders, and not towards woodworkers, it's even harder to get a sense of which one will work best for you. If you're looking for a little more clarity on what all the different versions of SketchUp have to offer, the good news is, is that we have a video that covers just that. I've added a link to it in the cards. But what you're probably really wondering is, can I just get away with using SketchUp free? For many, the answer is yes. But to make sure that's the right answer for you, let's talk about the five most common reasons woodworkers upgrade to either SketchUp Go or SketchUp Pro. First, interface. When you sign up for SketchUp Free or SketchUp Go, which was formerly called SketchUp Shop, you get access to the SketchUp for Web app, which you use inside your web browser like Chrome or Safari. And you have to be connected to the internet in order to use it. The projects you work on are also saved on the cloud through your Trimble account. SketchUp Pro is a more traditional desktop application, so you don't need to be connected to the internet in order to use it, and files are stored locally on your machine. If you need to be able to work on your projects offline or take them on the go where you won't have internet, then you'll need SketchUp Pro. Next, let's talk about import options. With any version of SketchUp, you can import image files to reference and build your 3D model on top of, whether that's your own hand sketch or an existing drawing. If you upgrade to Go or Pro, you'll be able to import CAD files directly into SketchUp. Assuming the CAD files were created correctly, they'll come in correctly scaled. Plus, SketchUp will be able to infer and snap to endpoints and line segments, making it fast, easy, and accurate to reference as you build out your 3D model. If you need the ability to import PDF files, you'll need the desktop version of SketchUp Pro. The third difference to know is that when you upgrade, you'll get more specialized tools. With both Go and Pro, you'll get an additional set of SketchUp tools called the Solid Tools, which can help you more quickly cut, drill, carve, and add joinery than you can with the default tools in SketchUp Free. What's more, with Pro, you can add even more specialized tools called extensions that help you solve all sorts of common problems you'll encounter while designing your projects. Extensions are too much to completely cover in this video, but just know that they're designed to make hard SketchUp tasks easier, faster, and more accurate. Some key things that extensions can really help woodworkers with include rounding corners, bezier shapes, beveled edges, dovetail and other complicated joints, and cut lists, just to name a few. I've added links to some of my favorite extension resources and how to install them in the notes for this video. The next thing you'll want to consider is shop drawings. While you can add some dimensions and labels with SketchUp Free or Go, you're fairly limited in your ability to output traditional working shop drawings. If you upgrade to SketchUp Pro, it'll come bundled with a program called Layout, which you can use to turn your SketchUp model into a detailed set of shop drawings. We cover this process in our Getting Started with Layout video. And even though that video is geared towards architects and interior designers, the workflow for shop drawings is essentially the same. I've added a link to that video in the cards as well. 
The last thing you'll want to consider to weigh whether upgrading is worth it for you is renderings. If you're going to be presenting your design, you've got some basic styling options that are available to you in SketchUp Free. To go beyond these default settings and come up with your own styles, you'll need to upgrade. And if you're using SketchUp Pro, you'll even be able to add rendering extensions, which you can use to go beyond SketchUp's built-in style features, even to the point of photorealistic materials and lighting. Now, if one or more of these features looks interesting, but you're thinking you'll start by learning SketchUp Free before upgrading, just know that the user interface is different in Pro, so be prepared for a slight learning curve when you transition to it later. But the good news is, all the tools and settings work the same, whether you've signed up for Free, Go, or Pro. You can also try SketchUp Pro free for 30 days to see if it's right for you. All right, now that we've gone through the five most common questions we hear from woodworkers about getting started in SketchUp, are you gonna give it a try? Let us know why in the comments below right now. Then I recommend diving into one of these two videos, depending on whether you're leaning towards free or pro. And if you're serious about learning SketchUp, but can't afford to waste time or pick up bad habits, then I recommend checking out our video course library. It's filled with $8,700 worth of SketchUp courses exclusively for professionals that will help guide you through everything you need to learn to use SketchUp for woodworking the right way. Head over to the SketchUp School website and try our courses for free. Until next time, happy sketching.